head coach for the Pitt Panthers, Randy Stoudemire. Coach Stoudemire, you guys are absolutely very strong dual team. Only loss this year is to Lehigh and a tie with Penn State. So that and they're a pretty good dual team. So, coach, talk about I man. You got some dynamite Pennsylvania guys. How important is it to keep these PA guys in PA? Well, we uh, we certainly want to do that. Uh, the strength of our program, really, in the WPIL, we have some outstanding WPIL kids. But PA is a great wrestling state. I don't have to tell you. You go to the NCAAs every year. You look at the All Americans. PA is almost every year is at the top. They'll put 10, 11 All Americans per year, and uh, you know we're especially fortunate to be in Western PA, where it's, it's, it's very, it's a great traditional sport. I mean, it's, uh, it's one of those where people love wrestling. They, they support it at the scholastic level. And uh, obviously, uh, the better we do at the, at the collegiate level, a lot of them coming in. We've had some great crowds this, this year, as evidenced by last weekend. And uh, so, uh, those PA guys, though, are pretty dang tough. You don't have to teach them a whole lot of bottom wrestling. They're, they love to, to do that mat wrestling. So, uh, it's kind of fun to watch them. How important is it to keep the whip heel guys there? You got, you, I think you counted three whip heel guys that are actually on the team that are starters. Three starters, right? Well, the, yeah, the uh, WPIL, I mean, they, they put out some pretty good kids. No two ways about it. You, you like to keep the best at home if you can. You know, you can't always do that. Sometimes there's a weight class where you already have money in and you just can't afford to bring another kid in at that weight class. But, you know, uh, again, there's, there's lots of good WPIL kids, developmental kids too. Brian Tomei, he's a developmental kid. He, he didn't start wrestling until he was a, uh, uh, what, his junior year. And then, wow. uh, you know, we signed him early his senior year just as a developmental thinking, hey, this kid might be pretty good before he's, before he's all done. And he never wrestled until 11th grade. Now look at him. This guy's ranking at top, what, top eight or top nine, whatever it is. Uh, and he still has another year to go. So. Uh, he's, a, he's one of those WPIAL kids who have, uh, who have certainly uh, developed. Do you think uh, Zanetta was a good find for you oh, guys? Oh man, he's a great find. That kid, he's just a great kid. He brings an energy to our team that's really neat. You like to see the first guy going out there, you want him to be like the, you know, the Energizer Bunny, you know, just going, man. And, and, and he just, he goes, you know, win or lose, he's the kind of guy, he creates momentum for your team, regardless whether it wins or loses, you know. Obviously the wins help. You know, creates more momentum. But you know, you can feel good about somebody's performance, even though he takes a loss. And the next guy can go back there, can go out, you know, feeling good about, hey, you know, we're slugging it out. I'm going to do the same thing. I hope I'm going to get the win. Okay, you guys got a pretty good home duel environment. You got crazy rowdy yeah, was, fans. Yeah. What's that come from? And the light, man. You got you got the, the uh, spotlight gleaming down, man. I mean, it's definitely home field advantage. Was that your idea? Whose idea was that? No, we've done that for a while. Uh, our uh, people at the university, you know, uh, trying to think of different ways to do it. Once in a while we leave the lights on, but for, for us last weekend we had them off and it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was a good atmosphere, bring in the fraternities and all that kind of stuff and uh, uh, they get into it, so, so it was pretty good. You, you need, it's nice to have that, that crowd though, it's nice to have those people behind you hooting and hollering and, uh, you know, hopefully intimidate the other team some. Alright, we are going to be at your place, 2 o'clock, 10. This Saturday, it'll be that should be very interesting. It should be fun to watch. I think you'll see a lot of good Division One wrestling, and, uh, and I think we'll be doing a fair share of it. So I'm looking forward to uh, the challenge. Uh, it's 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 going to be interesting. Um, we'll just we'll we'll find out on Saturday, I guess. But it should be fun. You got anything else for me? Um, at this point, I guess uh, it's kind of hard to believe. You know, where we have six. Uh, dates left this is kind of crazy we're we're towards the end of it so it's so funny you know we think about how long the season is man but as soon as you you start it's like it just flies by here we are we got after this weekend we'll have four competitions left and uh and then it's the big show it's the ewl championships and the nc2a's which is what we all you know set our sights on uh, you know every every year we set our sights on the ncaa championships and uh, hopefully, I think we'll have our fair share of guys there and uh, maybe make some noise there as well.